I, I'll have to admit, now that my hair is grown out, now that the tone has kind of like, are we so mad at it? The black is coming back. Can we just not appreciate? What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. My nail broke, so my vibe is off, but either way, I just got uh, two shipments in that I had ordered and I thought it would be great to do a little comparison situation because I bought from Adriana Goldschmidt. I believe that's how you pronounce that. <laughs> AG jeans, but if you know of them, they are very expensive. So like their average pair of pants will cost you 260 bucks. Yeah, but they are amazing. I can't even lie to you. So I haven't purchased recently. Like this is probably my more recent purchase. Last time I bought from them was like two years ago, three years ago. So let's see how I feel about their material now. You know that brands tend to change over the years, sometimes subtly. But either way, I also ordered from Honey Bum, I think it's called. I don't know, I've seen it all over the gram. And they have like typical 60 bucks worth of denim jeans and I figured I would try them. That's a big difference, $200 difference between denim. So we'll see which one I like better. Please, you know, just don't pretend. It even matched, like this wasn't done. I bought this bodysuit, a Ritzy bodysuit, before I painted my nails. So, you know what I mean? I'm just into baby blue right now. Anyway, these are the Mila Super High Rise Skinny in a size 29 and I love them. They are incredible, they fit perfectly. I'll give you guys like a close up view of the front and the back and then kind of give you a waistband. As you can see, there's a lot of extra um, room in the waistband. So, you know. But again, I can't get a smaller size. Waistband is very elastic, so personally, I like a really good tight fit at the waist. Might get these tailored, but I definitely could not go smaller with the legs. I would have no more room with my thighs, and we don't like squished thighs, so. This is their Prima cigarette leg. I actually ended up on this site because I was Googling for camel colored pants or something this kind of color. I absolutely love it. It's more mid-waisted, so it kind of fits more awkwardly. The larger waistband is more apparent than it would be if it were a high rise. I will show you guys in the up close how much of a gap there is. There's a lot of space, a lot of space. But I could just get that tailored. It is taken care of. Please excuse the military planes. I am, it's New York City. It's New York City. But to your best believe that I will make these work because they're cute as hell, the color is amazing. I will have to say that, and maybe this is just in my mind, but the material does not feel the same from three years ago. Maybe it's just in my mind. The material does not feel as stretchy and it does not feel as thick, but I bet your bottom dollar it was like 260. So for that amount of money, I expect the perfect pant. That's just, that's just it. And there's just a lot of room. There's a lot of room here, but I have a top that I'm not gonna show you because I wanna surprise you on the gram and you're not gonna preview. But I got a perfect little top to go with it. I felt like changing my shirt. This is from Honey Bum. I am actually pretty satisfied with the fit of these pants because in these kind of low stretch styles, eh, it doesn't work for my shape. This is their Alexis. It says Alexis Straight High Rise Vintage Fit, size 30. Colorway is fire. The waistband is huge. Definitely getting tailored. Like it's huge. You'll see in the close up. Huge gap, can fit a child back here or up here. More back here for some reason. Again, more of a fitted feel, absolutely no stretch here in the hip area, so it kind of smushes in my hip. No, like, it's not like horrible. 
You know what I mean? It's actually better than the other ones. But the legs are extremely tight. Like when I was putting this on, I genuinely did not believe that I was gonna be able to get them on to record for you guys. They're just really tight. So I feel like my legs and hips would be happier in a size 31, except with the way the waist gap. I mean, I guess if I'm getting a tailored, might as well. Well, I already took the tags off. All right, fuck it. Let's just hope they stretch out. But anyway, do I think they're worth the price tag? If you're like a normal American human being and you're budgeting, you, probably can pass on these that's just facts oh my god i forgot to mention this is a giveaway so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna have you girls vote if you want me to give you a gift card to ag or if you want me to give you the gift card to honey bun so remember what you can get from ag is vastly different from what you can get from honey bun so you could get an assortment of items from honey bun of course you could get one good pair of denim from ag but choice is yours baby it's the matrix you get to choose what you want and again rules are the same girls just comment below tell me which pair of jeans was your favorite what you think about the difference between the really expensive pair and the cheap pair and then also tell me what denim you want to see me in next i know you've told me before but kind of haven't followed direction and just gone with what i like 40. as i was putting these pants on my face was literally this because they're incredible. They're literally incredible. They're amazing. They're astonishing. They're comfortable. They're sexy. They're different. What other terminology can I use to make you know that you need these? Split ankle? What? Deets? You know how well you could show off your heels with that? Yeah. What? This is incredible. First of all, sizing, size 13, definitely OD'd on that. Definitely not a size 13. These are extremely big, but the fact that these are probably two sizes too big and that they still fit wearable says a lot. Okay, these still make me look incredible. These are the all about you split hems jeans in a medium wash like when i give you the zoom out of this because totally wearable incredibly comfortable and i'm not mad at it okay not mad at the situation it's a lot but your girl will get this tailored and just the fact that I've just tried on pairs of pants that cost, these cost me $42. $42, 260 minus $42. You could literally, I just don't even, I just want, this is amazing. I love doing this, so. Honey bum, what's up? It's your girl up. It's good. I mean, AJ too, you know what I'm saying? I love you, no, no harm, no foul keeping it funky, you know what I mean? But, for two Doug. Okay, so again, size 13. These are their Travis wide leg jeans in light stone. Definitely could have gone down two sizes. So I'm having the rippling effect here, but they are so incredibly comfortable that let's make a bit oversized jeans a thing again. You know what I'm saying? Definitely gonna get the thing hemmed. When you see the zoomed version, you'll be able to see that what I'm talking about. Super high rise. But my love, $38. $38, 38, 38, 38, 38, 38. $38 versus $260. I'm so happy that I'm able to do this. I'm really, I understand how blessed I am that I'm able to like, do this, but I, I love that I'm able to do this and show y'all that you're really not missing out on anything. It's just trial and error, you know what I mean? There's always a great, I don't wanna take, this is not an AG bashing thing. I love Adriana Goldschmidt. They have incredible clothing. And to be fair, maybe these jeans won't stand the test of time. That's what comes with, with cheaper clothing. And I'm sure that their denim, AG's gen denim will, because I have pants from five years ago that are still incredible and some of my favorite jeans. So, 
that says a lot for AG. But with that said, the way with fast fashion, the way we are, where, you know what I mean, we want to constantly be changing our closet. It's just like spending that kind of money, you have to be in that tax bracket. And it's not just, it's not logical. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not even there. I'm just lucky that I'm in a position to be able to take advantage of my resources and just do this for you guys, you know? But yeah, so I love these. I'm very, very happy. And again, I can't believe, I really did not think this was the way that it was going to go. I thought that I was going to end up telling you guys that the more expensive brand was the way to go. I think sizing is just, and again, to that lady that told me I was lying about cheap clothes running big. The AG pants were tight as hell. And it cost me $260. These are $30 jeans. And they're my size, my size, and they're big. So, mm. I get so happy when I get trolls wrong. I absolutely love this denim. I actually expected them to be horrible. They are a looser fit. In the description, it said that they were gonna be a looser fit, but either way, this paisley little design that it has going on, and I changed the top is from them too, but this denim is incredible. This is their early days paisley jean. Sometimes quality is always better than quantity, until it's in this situation. And so is this. Because if I could have five, I really can't tell the difference. And to be honest, these are probably a bit more comfortable. Maybe it's because they're bigger. Never know. I'm gonna show you the zoomed in version. I'm that kind of like effortless boyfriend feel. So, not mad at it. All right guys, so this was fun. I think I'm gonna do another haul. Soon, please tell me what two brands. I think I want to keep doing Versus because that's the most, I don't know, I get the most out of it. And I think you guys will get the most out of it too. So why don't we stay on this wave? Why don't we keep doing expensive jeans versus affordable? Give me two brands that you want me to put up against each other. And that's going to be my next haul. And I'm going to fall through this time. I promise. Okay, so until next time, guys, I want you to be safe, be kind, have open hearts, do not be bullies. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And this YouTube world is really weird, but I love it. <laughs> until next time, I love you guys. Finito.